Good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains in Charlotte, North Carolina. This morning we are going to look at what it takes to put in a gravel drain, sometimes known as a French drain. Let's start with the gravel. This is number 67 stone, but where does it come from? Here we're at the gravel yard, and basically it's like visiting Fred Flintstone. You pull up on the scale, they weigh your truck empty, and you can see our empty weight. Now we're going to drive over and get number 67 stone. This is crushed, washed gravel. And you can see them crushing it and making it here. Next, the loader will come along and fill up your trailer with a lot of gravel. So be prepared to pull a heavy load when you start to drive away. The secret to a gravel drain is gravel. The more gravel, the better the job. Okay, we've pulled onto the scale to reweigh the truck, and now we're back to the job site. We've already dug our trench, and you can see that it's working because the water is leaching down through. First, we pour a base of gravel down on the bottom of the trench because we want to make sure that the dirt does not rise up into our pipe. A frequent question we are asked is which way do the holes point in the perforated pipe? Notice the blue line. That's the top of the pipe. That means the holes point down. Click above where it says how a French drain works to see why the holes point down. Okay, now we're going to cover our pipe with all that gravel. Remember, this is number 67 stone. You continue to cover and surround your pipe until the pipe is completely covered with gravel. Okay, now you see a completed yard drain, gravel drain, French drain, whatever you want to call it. Gravel is the key.